With that, welcome to the Leopold Museum. The exhibition is Vienna 1900. Vienna 1900 is a tasteful exploration regarding the exciting cultural community that existed around the turn of the century right here in Vienna and its effect upon the larger art scene throughout the world. Major influencers are celebrated here and vibrant examples of their craft are expertly presented on multiple floors. Celebrated personalities such as Coleman Moser, Otto Wagner, and Gustav Klimt were featured prominently, but the real star of the show was the secessionist movement. <music> to every age it's art, and to every art it's freedom. The secession group was formed in 1897, when about 50 members of the then Association of Austrian Artists had judged this group to be too paternalistic, conservative, and a bit out of touch with the times. Secession achieved, they went on to make a large impact in the art world by staging fantastic exhibitions, inviting exciting artists to show in Vienna, and especially by blending art into every facet of society, be it architecture, drafting. You can see this in full effect at the Secession Building. The Secession Building was constructed in 1898 and itself is an homage to the Art Nouveau movement. Celebrated contributors include Coleman Moser, the visionary Austrian artist whose intention in his design was to imbue everything in our everyday with style and to make good design the foundation. His work extended far and wide to include fine art, stained glass, woodworking, and architecture. Otto Wagner, this architect of high regard, left his distinctive style all over Vienna, including the Karlsplatz station. His architecture is appreciated far and wide. The first house he ever built is currently the home of the Erst Fuchs Museum, which we'll learn about later. We also have Gustav Klimt, a leading artist of his time, and his golden period produced some of the most recognizable pieces the world over. His art and those of his contemporaries would later come to define the Art Nouveau movement, and in 1897, he was named as the first presiding head of the Secession Group. <laughs> 